All right, 2012 Toyota Prius 5. And I'm on the driver's side. And if you look up, you'll see uh, right there is where we're going to drain the coolant. There's a drain, and we're going to come in from the back side here. We're going to open that up now. I've opened the cap up top. And so I'm going to go ahead and open this. I've got a catch basin, and we're going to flush this radiator today. All right, so we're going to let it slowly drain, and uh, it'll work itself out. And you can see here I've got the cap open. Now, a lot of times... Uh, when you change the coolant, you can change this inverter fluid too. It uses the same coolant, but I've already done this in a previous video, I'm sure, where I drained this. And in draining this, one thing you have to do is overfill this because as soon as you put your car in maintenance mode, it's going to suck a lot of this fluid out quickly. So you want to make sure you have this overfilled and then watch it carefully. The coolant it'll suck it in and you've got a bigger reservoir over there. So, but this has already been changed, so I'm not gonna do anything with that today. All right, so you can see the coolant is gonna drain out of that. When it's totally finished, I'll cap it back off. We'll use Toyota Super Coolant to refill the system. We'll put the car in maintenance mode and uh, let it suck it in and pull the air out of the system. Now here's the coolant I'm using. It's from Toyota, pre-diluted. Uh, I have two. I'm not sure that it won't take from just one, but we'll see. Just in case I need more, I have more than one Toyota product anyway. But that's what I'm using, so here's your item. All right, now you can see I've got my funnel ready to fill with fresh coolant. So let's open it up and start feed, feeding it. So there it goes, and I'll fill this reservoir and watch it, it'll suck in a lot and then we'll put the car in maintenance mode and finish the process. But let's let this uh, fill up.